Hello, hello. It's Beata and Sarah from BA English Coaching and welcome to our next lesson about British manners. I'm really glad that I've got Sarah with me here today uh, because it's more fun and everything feels more authentic with an English person. All cultures and countries around the world have their etiquette and their manners. Britain is of course no different. British people have a reputation for being polite and appreciating good manners. So it's very important to know about them, right? Why? Your English can be good, you can be fluent, and still you could upset someone by mistake. Or you might get negative response by something you have said or you have not said. So, we have put together a quick guide and selected a few typical and critical manners for you to know so that you can avoid any awkward or embarrassing situations or moments. Exactly. So are you ready? If so, would you like to get a drink and we can start. Look at these examples. How do you feel when Someone is late, someone starts eating before you, someone doesn't join the queue and pushes in, someone wants to kiss you two or three times, and someone talks with food in their mouth. Pause the video now as this lesson is interactive and have a think. Are these things acceptable in your country? Now, let's ask Sarah, who is British, how she feels about these things. So, Sarah, how do you feel when someone is late? Very irritated and offended because they are saying by being late that their time is more important than my time and therefore they feel more important than me. Oh, so it is rude. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel when someone starts eating before you? I think more embarrassed than anything else that they are eating and I am looking at an empty space on a table. And uh, it's difficult to make a conversation with someone eating when you've got nothing to eat. And no, it's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And how do you feel when someone doesn't join the queue and pushes in? This this is very serious in England and the British Isles. Um, it's almost as bad as murder, slightly less perhaps, but not a lot. Um, I would suggest that you, you, when you see a queue, even if it's only two people, join politely behind mm -hmm. and do not let anyone else push in. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. And then how do you feel when someone wants to kiss you two or three times? The British are known for their reserve and anyone who lunges at me wanting to kiss me two or three times, they are invading my personal space. And I think the British have a real feel for your personal space. Mm -hmm. If you look at people on the underground and in trains, it's important. So I would feel, I would hate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then lastly, someone talks with food in their mouth. Well, I just have to look away. Thank you. So we will discuss all these situations in more detail later. So let's discuss and analyze these situations a bit more. Sarah will read the texts and you can always pause the video and repeat after her so you can practice your pronunciation, expression and intonation. So let's start with punctuality. Right. Being on time is a very important matter in England. Whether that is meeting friends for drinks or going to someone's house for dinner or a business appointment. It is important to make sure that you show up on time as showing up late is seen as rude because you are wasting someone else's precious time. Unfortunately, there may be some good reasons 
that can make you late. In that case, just make sure to send a message in good time to let them know. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a bit more maybe about punctuality and, and making and keeping appointments? Well, in this country, there's a sort of unwritten rule that for important appointments like the doctor, the dentist or anyone else of importance, you turn up quarter of an hour early so as not to waste their time. They may finish the appointment before you earlier and they can move straight on to you without any waiting around. If you're going, you're invited to a house for drinks or a dinner party for, they say seven o'clock or they say eight o'clock, it doesn't matter. You are expected to arrive no more, but no less than 15 minutes after the time quoted. And why is that? Because it is, the, uh, the hostess in England will expect you then. So if you arrive earlier than that, you will catch her putting on her lipstick or putting the potatoes in the oven and it's embarrassing. Hmm. So arrive after the time quoted. Can you remember this? And how about waiting in line or queuing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The British love to queue and we take it very, very seriously. Do not cut into a line because you will get angry looks and possibly some quite unpleasant comments. An orderly line is expected in most places so that people receive their service or products or their order in the order in which they arrived. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So I hope you will now know that you need to be punctual and you need to wait in line patiently and you shouldn't jump in. So tip number three, apologizing. And by apologizing, we are talking about minor things. British people tend to apologize even for things that are not their fault. If you bump into someone by accident, the British person will apologize and say, I'm sorry. Apologizing as the victim is a very English thing to do. And the typical way of accepting an apology in the UK is to politely accept it so that the other person doesn't feel bad. That's amazing. You British, you are so kind and polite. <laughs> It's, it's really nice, you know, to know, and you need to remember this when you are in a situation like that. And what about table manners? Do not do anything at the table that you wouldn't want to watch. Things like, don't start eating until everybody is ready. Mm -hmm. Or if in a private house, until your hostess has started eating. Don't speak with your mouth full. Put your knife and fork together on your plate when you have finished. Do not eat with your knife. It should never go in your mouth. Do not spit your food out onto your plate and don't put your elbows on the table or tip your chair back. Thank you, Sarah. And you said something about the knife and fork that it also means something else. If the knife and fork are not put together at the end of your meal, it means you didn't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So it is that is not considered very polite. Put your knife and fork together. Fine. Thank you. So I hope you will remember these these manners so that because everybody in, in Britain will expect you to understand them. Tip number five, being tactile. By tactile, we mean touching other people. So how is it in Britain? Well, the British may not seem to be very tactile people and that could make us look unemotional or cold. But of course, we do have emotions. We just don't like other people seeing them and we are very good at hiding them. The idiom, the expression stiff upper lip is an idiom that refers to our ability to hide our emotions. While you may be hugged or kissed two or three times in some countries, 
it's not very common to do this in the UK. Mm -hmm. So now when you hear the expression stiff upper lip, you will understand what it means. And Sarah, can you give us an example? Well, of this? you may have watched the funeral of the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, in the UK recently. Mm -hmm. And we saw the royal family, the close family only, going to the chapel and the queen sitting there entirely on her own. And you may have yet no, may have noticed nobody seemed to be crying, nobody seemed to be very upset, their faces were completely blank. That is a perfect example of the stiff upper lip. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So now you understand that, you know, instead of being judgmental, you now know why they were not showing emotions. It is seen as dignified. Well, I hope you found this lesson enjoyable and valuable and that it's given you more clarity about how we, the English, think. Let us know in the comments below. Like it and subscribe. If you haven't joined our Facebook group yet for further practice and motivation, then you absolutely should. And remember, don't be the same, be awesome. Good manners are ageless, ageless priceless, priceless and, and classless. classless.